Hey guys, I'm Victor and I'm here to tell you how to find a Barracuda. Barracudas are easily recognizable for their elongated bodies and powerful jaws, with fang-like teeth giving them an intimidating look. They can be found in tropical and subtropical areas worldwide, being common predators of coral reefs. Due to their large size, they are typically found in the water column, where they can ambush their prey. However, some larger species, like the great barracuda, can sometimes be found in shallow reefs and mangroves. Juvenile barracudas generally congregate in large schools, where their greater numbers provide protection against predators. Adults, on the other hand, are mostly solitary and defend their territory ferociously against competing predators like moray eels, groupers, and even dolphins. Their large eyes are used to locate their prey, while their torpedo-shaped bodies and powerful tails allow them to perform short bursts of speed to surprise their target. Their teeth are so sharp they can literally cut a small fish in half. Imagine shooting an underwater arrow, with scissors instead of an arrowhead. That's pretty much what a barracuda is. Despite their fearsome looking jaws, barracudas aren't aggressive towards humans and prey almost entirely on fish and invertebrates. However, a few precautions should still be taken when swimming with these marine predators. First, avoid poor visibility areas like brackish water, as barracudas will have a harder time identifying you as a human being. Second, cover or simply don't wear shiny items when swimming, snorkeling, or diving. The light reflection on those objects can resemble fish scales and may confuse barracudas. Finally, don't spear fish near barracudas, as they may try to steal the struggling fish from you and cause an accident. If you follow these rules, you'll see that barracudas are pretty much harmless. Some of them are even curious and will come closer to check you out. But don't try to pet them, they're nothing like underwater dogs. Or are they? When gorged, barracudas may try to herd schools of small fish into the shallows, where they become trapped between the predator and the shore. This allows them to guard their food supply until it's time to hunt again. This resource guarding behavior can also be seen in domestic dogs. Speaking of food, barracuda is sometimes found in fish markets, but eating it isn't necessarily a good idea. Barracudas are one of the main tropical species involved with cases of ciguatera food poisoning. Ciguatera is caused by a toxin produced by microalgae that inhabits tropical and subtropical regions, and that is consumed by small grazers. The toxin is then accumulated by larger fish like barracudas as they feed on those smaller animals, making their meat more concentrated with the toxin. So it's perhaps wiser to keep barracuda away from your fridge. Instead, you can focus on smaller tropical seafood. Perhaps... Scouts? They are at the bottom of the food chain, and they taste great pan-fried with some garlic. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry this one took a little bit longer, I had some complications while traveling as well as repairing my camera. But I'm back and I will provide more content if you guys want me to. So be sure to leave thumbs up or down and subscribe. See ya!